So let's say we needed to find the moment of inertia about O. If we wanted to find the moment of inertia about O, we're going to have two different shapes to worry about here. We're going to have one, which will be this big rectangle. And it's going to have a center of mass right in the center there. And we're going to have another one that is going to be this big circle here. And it has a center of mass right here in the center. And we need to take both of those moment of inertias, as we can look up in the back of the book, and move them to the point that we want the moment of inertia to be about. So I like to do this in a chart. The moment of inertia about the center, you can look up in the back of your textbook. And just make sure that you're using the proper um, axis. And I would say for the slender rod, IG is going to be equal to 1 12th ML squared. I should put that in my givens. The sphere, we would look at the back of the textbook and we'd say it's equal to 2 fifths MR squared. So we'd say IG of the sphere is equal to 2 fifths MR squared. And then we just plug those in. We got 1 12th, 10 kilograms, and the length is 0 0.5. 4, 5 meters, and then we have down here 2 fifths times 15 kilograms times the radius, which is given as 0 0.1 meters. The mass, 10 kilograms, 15 kilograms, and D. Now this is going to be the distance between the axis that we're interested in. In this case, uh, we did the moment of inertia about the center of mass. So my D for the rod is going to be here because it's the distance from that blue dot to the dot that we're taking the moment of inertia about, the moment of inertia about O. And my second one is going to be from here to here. That would be my DS for D sphere. So we have four, 0 0.45 over 2, and then we'd have... Uh, 0 0.45 plus 0 0.1. This should be squared here, and this should be squared here because of these squares. Thank you. Okay, so now all I do is I add it up. So I would have my IO for the rod would be equal to whatever this is, 1 12th times 10 times 0 0.45 squared plus MD squared because my Equation for parallel axis theorem is IG plus MD squared. So I'd have 10 kilograms, 0 0.45 over 2 squared. My IO for the sphere is 2 fifths times 15 times 0 0.1 squared plus 15 kilograms times 0 0.45 plus 0 0.1 squared. Total is just those two added.